Mark vs. Dinosaurs. I want to taste. We can share. I smelled it first. It's my With the whole dimension thing, one of the first places Mark lands is a world where dinosaurs never got wiped out by that big rock. They're still the top dogs ruling the planet. These aren't your average dinos, though. They can even talk. But that doesn't mean they're super organized. When they see Mark, they all start arguing over who gets to eat him first. Turns out they call humans sapiens, and it seems like they hunted them all to extinction in this world. The whole dinosaur world makes you wonder what happened to humanity. Maybe they never got a chance to evolve and become the main species. And hey, there's a silver lining. Since these dinosaurs can talk and stuff, maybe they'll avoid getting messed with by those creepy Viltrumite aliens. After all, those guys like to take over planets where they can, well, mate with the people there. So these brainy dinos might be lucky. Batman and Invincible collab. A man who dresses like a bat and your name is... Well, you know, I mean, like, don't you think that's... Mark also gets flung into a world that looks a whole lot like the DC Universe. Here he bumps into a hero who seems awfully familiar. Batman! Now, unlike Agent Spider, who has kind of his own thing, this hero is a pretty clear copy of the real Batman. We only see him from behind with his cape blowing in the wind, but the costume and even the music give it away. Batman in some stories is more down to earth, but the classic comic book Batman has definitely done some multiverse hopping himself. That would make him a perfect person to give Mark some advice, even if Mark can't resist poking fun at Batman's way of doing things. It's a funny moment in an episode that's otherwise pretty serious. Mad Max X Invincible. Oh, I told you. I wasn't in the mood. Mark also lands in a world straight out of a Mad Max movie. It's a giant desert wasteland, and everyone seems rough and tumble. Mark tries to reason with some of these people, but they're not interested in talking. They just attack him like a bunch of wild raiders with costumes like you'd see in video games. Luckily for Mark, they're no match for his super strength. This Mad Max world looks like one place where things got really bad. Maybe they never had any superheroes to protect them, or maybe something else went wrong. We don't know if those Viltrumites had anything to do with it, but one thing's for sure, this fight really wears Mark out, which is exactly what the bad guy, Anstrom, wanted. He was trying to tire Mark down so he can take him out for good. 